Greetings, back for another beer review. Uh, second one of the day. I had another one in the fridge. I thought, why not? Let's do it. So it's for another one of the supermarket specials, I'm afraid. Uh, but this is, I think it's fair to say, it's a classic English beer. When people think of English beer, this is one of the ones that, that comes out straight away. I think of bitters, and this is a classic bitter. Um, it's from England. First brewed in 1959. It's 4.7%. Uh, this is interesting though. It launched on St. George's Day, 1959. Uh, but... Uh, Actually, it's made from an earlier beer called Special Pale Ale. The recipe dates back to the 19th century or even earlier. Uh, so let's see what it is. It is Fuller's London Pride. There we go. I don't know if you've Fuller's beer already before. Um, London Pride is pretty much ubiquitous. They've changed the bottle quite a bit. From what's in the book, the bottle has changed. They've gone for this kind of almost cylindrical style of bo a bottle, which I really, really like, actually. I think it's really classy. Um, I don't think um, there aren't many other breweries that do it like that with this kind of, sort of shoulders here. It's proper cylinder, but and they've slightly updated the branding, which I think still looks. It's clearly still uh, London Pride. They call it their premium ale. So um, it even says what hops they use. That's interesting. Now in the book, it tells what malts they use. It uses simply it uses crystal and pale malt, only two types. But it even says on here. Uh, it says London Pride has a smooth, distinctive multi base with a rich balance of well developed hop flavours from the Target, Challenger, and North Down variety. So there's no fuggles or goings in there, so that's interesting. And they use their own unique yeast in the brew. It says an impressively complex beer, and it says the UK's favourite premium ale. I imagine that's just through sales. So they, they make a huge amount uh, of these. You find them everywhere fuller's pubs other pubs um and i've had it before loads loads of times um so let's crack it open shall we never had it in bottle i've only ever had it in cask okay i can see a bit of carbonation already Definitely not bottle conditioned. Okay, let's chill that one down. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. It's it's sort of light, a very light brown, huge amount of carbonation going on there. Uh, sort of a thin white head with larger bubbles and smaller bubbles. Um, the tasting notes. An extremely well-balanced brew. It's multi biscuity nature is firmly underpinned by fruity hops on the nose. Uh, so let's smell that. It does smell actually. It's not hugely aroma, there's not a huge aroma to it, but there's a slight level of fruit in there. It says you get a touch of treacle toffee in the mouth and a refreshingly bitter finish. Okay, well, let's go for the bottle. Cheers. There is a bit of a treacle taste. I think that's, that's true to say. Um, it has got a multi backbone. Um, touch of hops. I wouldn't call it. It's not dry. It's not really bitter. It's fairly quaffable actually. Very very easy to drink. It does have that. Yeah, that it does have that lovely sort of treacle caramel taste to it. Um, not overly malty. Not overly hoppy. It's a it is well balanced. I think that's that's a fair fair thing to say. The malt and the hops uh, really balance each other out. I must say the bottled version is better than the cast version, uh, without a doubt. You do, you don't get that treacliness from from the cast version. You get a slightly more dull. I think. Um, I don't know whether you, that's I don't know whether that gets thrown out through the cast conditioning or not. But this is lovely. Um, I mean, it's it's what you expect. London Pride is London Pride. Um, so, 500ml bottle, uh, it's hard to know what to say about that, really. It's still brewed in, in the Griffin Brewery in Fuller's and Chiswick. Um, it's still, it's still an independent brewery. It's not, you know, it's not been bought out by anyone else. It's still, it's still its own thing. Um, it says it's won lots of awards here at the top. 
Oh, that's nice. It's got like, it's got like six medallions up here, but they all say exactly the same thing with no years on. It all says voted Britain's best, and then that's it. That's a little bit disingenuous, I must say, in the in the labelling there. Uh, voted Britain's best by who? There's nothing to back it up. There's no voting. Is that voting through sales, by any chance? So you get it. You find this a lot. I mean, you even find this in cans in places. I found this in America. I, I have never had it in America. There's no point. It's other beers to be had. Um, it's it's pretty good, you know. Um, uh, it says here. It says the beer's popularity is down to its drinkability, which in which the bre brewer attributes the almost perfect balance between zesty hop and biscuity malt character. I think that's fair. It's possible to measure the drinkability of a beer. To do so, you simply give it away to some sports team or other and measure how much they drink. It may not sound scientific, but the companies that offer this service take it very seriously. Well, there we go. Um, it's Fuller's most popular beer. The brewery currently produces 200,000 barrels of beer per year, three quarters of which have London Pride in them. So there we go. London Pride. It is what it is. I quite like it. Uh, and, and, and if you find a really good cast condition version, it be It'll not doom bar into a cocked hat, definitely. So, and green king IPA, which is no, not a patch on this. Um, so, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, have you had have you had London Pride? If you're someone in England watching this beer review and you've not had London Pride, I don't know what you're drinking. <laughs> I don't know how you've never been. To, you've never been to a pub. There's fullest pubs everywhere. Um, do you hate it? Do you like it? Do you think it's okay? Comment in on the on the video. Uh, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you for another preview soon.